Hi everyone, welcome to this fourth video on a GUI based approach to machine learning for horse racing. I received an email the other day from uh, a guy who was asking me whether or not the software produced probabilities on horses running in each race and uh, the quick answer to that is yes it does. Uh, but I thought I'd just do a short video demonstrating what I actually mean by that and what the, probati what the probabilities actually can be used for. Okay, I've loaded up some data here, which is 2015 to 2017 flat handicaps. And I'm gonna create a, um, a very simple model using class day since the horse last run and the number of previous races. Okay, we um, create the model. Got the target feature here which I selected which is fin pos the finishing position which is naught or one and then we've got the three input features class day since last run and number of previous races this will take a few seconds to run um, as before we've got the baseline up here which is back in all horses it lose you three percent or a variable loss a variable state loss of minus 1.52 percent so we're looking to improve on that it's just taking a little longer than I ex expected but we'll get there okay here we go um this these columns we've introduced in the previous videos but there's actually an extra column here which I've, in, I've put into the software which is the probability PL on the right hand side here what this shows is how each ranked rating would perform to a one pound level stake if you'd only backed horses in which the probability that the model produces is greater than the probability indicated by the Betfair SP. So let me give you a very straightforward example of what I mean by that. Let's say the Betfair SP is 2.0. That's even money. Then it will calculate that the Betfair probability of that horse winning is 50%, which is not far off considering the overround on Betfair is very small. Now, if the model produced a probability that was in excess of 50%, excess of 0.5 then it would bet that horse and it would show up in the probability profit and loss here if the algorithms probability was below the bet fair probability it won't log that horse as a bet now as you can see from this column here the certainly the first three in the in the rank order of ratings for each race have actually improved their performance on the probability PL measurement here because as you can see it's actually across the top three ranked produced a profit of around um, 52 points whereas blindly over here blindly backing the top three has actually produced a loss so the probabilities seem to have some predictive power and we can just see how good they are by going up to this new button I've got here which is the calibration plot and if we click on that I just drag that over and we've got a calibration plot here now what this is showing is uh, the blue line shows what would be a perfectly calibrated set of ratings in other words if the ratings produced a horse with 0.4 then all the horses with 0.4 should win 0.4 or 40% of the time similarly all horses that are ranked or rated under 0.6 should win 60% of the time so on this axis we've got the actual wins and on here are the rating now the orange line on this graph shows the performance of the actual ratings produced by the model and as you can see it actually calibrates fa fairly closely with this perfect calibration line here we can see down here if I put the cursor there and if you look in the bottom right hand corner you can see that the ratings at this point are 
0.0852 and the actual winds on the y-axis is 0 0.08154 so they actually are fairly closely matched in fact they're pretty closely matched up to around 12 and a half or 0.12 or 0.125 I should say and then they do slightly um, detour from this this perfectly blue line that we're looking at and you'll see that uh, the ratings down here and uh, I'm showing 0.22 here they are slightly over predicting the horse's chance compared to the actual wins that it that have been uh, locked it's actually predicting a rating of 0.22 but they're only winning 0.18 so it's kind of overconfident if you like on the ratings in this area but that's still a pretty good calibration line and shows that the the model is producing something that matches fairly close to actual win rates which explains I'll just remove this which explains why it's showing some benefit here and uh, it's producing some increased profit now you can also further explore these um, probabilities by clicking on save results and um, that'll save the the results to a CSV file and you can then open up that CSV file and look at all the probabilities for all the horses that were that were produced by the algorithm and perhaps manipulate manipulate, manipulate them yourselves at, at your own desire okay thanks uh, as I always leave comments below and uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video